concept of are getting ready to hit the fan big time, and these will all be beneficial. Uh, as an example, think about a car that don't need tires. Think about a car that don't need gas. Think about how much that is going to do for these people who have been raping us uh, by uh, jacking up the oil prices. And I'm going to give you two of the countries that are doing that. Iran and Israel own, co-jointly own, a trading platform for oil. I tell you anything about the fun and games going on with your gas price? If it don't, then you need to go back to your cave and uh, go back to sleep. Next question. Uh, this is from a bony. Drake, I was talking to my neighbor and former state senator in New York, U.S. Congressman, U.S. Senator, now current secretary of the U.S. Army, John M. McHugh, Parapoint Man in New York, about your interviews and project. He asked me to ask you if you'd be willing to meet with him and or his staff and then provide evidence and information regarding the 14 people and two children who were killed in front of her parents over this. Uh, yeah, but they're going to have to come in. They're going to have to come to me. Uh, I don't take rides in, uh, with unknown people, uh, period, no matter what their standing are. Uh, secondly, uh, this will have to be a uh, preconditioned meeting, um, and I'll have to garner the information from some people that uh, so far have not fully shared uh, the information on a need-to-know basis. Now, I can get that information together, and we can have a meet. Um, have that person send an email to freedomrange.us, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. <coughs> now, uh, who, which one of you asked that last question? <laughs> that was the one in the big blue. In the big blue. Yeah, in the chat room. He was in the big blue font. Oh. No, no. I'm talking about the phone calls I have up right now. Oh. Oh, goodness. Well, I that's the 454 area call. or 617 area. I think it was 405 that you were speaking to. No, I had the 454 and 617 area up. I'm 617 and that was not me. All right, 454 area, thank you for your question. All right, 617 area, give us your city and your name, please, and your one question. My name is Billy. I'm calling from uh, Los Angeles area. Um, and it, it's just a comment or a question. I'll keep it brief. Um, so I'm a member of the Old Keepers, and I have been in, in touch with Drake. We've exchanged a couple of emails back and forth. Um, I thank everyone for their hard work. Um, I'm fully, I fully understand why the Oath Keepers have not been informed from the highest levels. I understand there's a certain way that, that, that we want to do things. Um, we had meetings just this past week with the highest levels of the Oath Keepers, and I guess it's a bit tough because I seem to be one of the only ones that's following this angle of it, and again, I under, I understand why. Um, but it's, um, I, I feel like we could be, uh, of, of help in this, and I've been talking to some of my local leaders here, and, and, I would just hate for this to be misinterpreted because some of the local leaders are saying when stuff starts going down, it may be misinterpreted and seen as nefarious and people are saying they're going to bug out of town. So I know that on Freedom Reigns it seems like there's going to be something at least 24 hours ahead of time that lets us know when this is going down and we have a phone tree here where we can get in touch with people. Um, so just just a comment that I wanted to just put that on the air that, um, that I'm keeping my finger on the pulse of this and hoping that when it starts going down, this, that I can get in touch with my local folks and tell them, don't bug out, this isn't what you think it is. So, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Next. I wish people would, you know, realize that the chat room goes by so fast. That, uh... <laughs> All right. Time is now. It says Canada, the North American Union has been proposed, trying to turn the world into three regions. Uh, Dad, gummit, people, hold out your questions. Let me read this from Time. All right. The North American Union has been proposed, trying to turn the world into three regions. Why? Um, it's a uh, basic uh, control. Um, they were also uh, looking at the Amero, that's a dodge from the dollar into another fiat currency that's also worthless. 
and is also controlled by the banking system that we have now. The proposal was from the um, oligarchs, as I'll call them, uh, who have a tendency to want to uh, use us as cannon fodder or whatever they feel like uh, is going to be fun that week. Um, the uh, main problem that they're, got, they're going to have with that is that those people who decided that was a good idea are no longer going to be uh, publicly accessible. You can visit them in a FEMA camp. Next question. Uh, can Drake explain their relationship between the good works the White Hats are doing to track the fraudulent actions of the cabal and resisting the financial, resetting the financial system with that of the White Dragon Keenan situation? Uh, there's a conjunctive uh, effort uh, between between them and the um, the situation is that there are certain white hats who are uh, okay and certain ones who are not. There are some in between. So just because somebody says they're a white hat does not necessarily necessarily make it so. The people that are being worked with uh, have been vetted or outed or thoroughly searched in terms of who they are, what they are, and what they have done in their past, their associations, their family histories. These, this information then lets a person know whether or not a person can be trusted for one, because usually if a person is going to be, uh, going to be trusted in the future, they're giving something that, uh, they're not to divulge, period. Just as I was many years ago. So what happens is that when, as you prove your trust and trustworthiness, then you are entrusted with more. And that's basically how this works. Uh, I've got probably enough information to blow a whole bunch of things wide open. I don't give it out unless I have the okay from the people that are involved in it to do so. Not only is it dangerous, but it also screws up the plan. I want this to go through yesterday, not tomorrow or next week or down the road in the summer. I would prefer seeing this in the next uh, few weeks, if at all possible. Uh, I will make every effort personally to see to it that that happens. So, all right. hopefully, that answers it. There, this question has come up about forty times. When you talk about growing our own food, what about advanced technologies like food replicators? Okay, uh, in some places you can't grow food, and yes, food replicators are real. They've been being used since the fifties. So, uh, my suggestion is that. Uh, and this could be a problem. <laughs> uh, two things about them. One is you've seen Star Trek, okay? That's all well and good, and it seems nice and convenient. There's a problem with this. <coughs> the food replicator is not pre-programmed to make it taste like it's supposed to. You're liable to get some really strange things. If you don't know how to describe a taste then you might really have a problem making it come up with oatmeal. Or uh, <laughs> you're liable to get a banana that tastes like uh, the horn of a goat. You don't know. So <laughs> uh, until we basically are ready for these uh, technologies, it might turn out to be a problem in some respects. Now, I want you to think about this. Some people in certain parts of the world eat some things that I would consider extraordinarily strange. And believe me. You have no idea what it feels like to sit down to a dinner and have dinner jump up and look at you, freak out, screech, and run away. It really ruins your appetite for the rest of whatever else is there. So, you know, uh, you have no idea if, you know, if somebody in China makes the stuff and you don't happen to have a taste buds that are suited to fish heads and rice for it as an example uh then you might have a problem with this so i wouldn't worry about it until it comes out when it comes out we're supposed to be at the point where we're ready we're supposed to be trained or taught in these technologies that are supposed to be <laughs> readily available for our use um uh, in the same light, um, they're supposed to be uh, converting automobiles to a different type of uh, transportation. Um, according to the way people drive presently, I'd hate to think about them flying. That really worries me. So I'll leave all that alone. Next question. All right. I have two very important questions. What will happen to the political prisoners in jail now? 
if they're truly political prisoners that they're released, if they've not uh, violated common law, injured party or injured property, and they're uh, simply de being disagreeable, there's a thing in this country called freedom of speech. And I might disagree wholeheartedly and absolutely and vehemently with what you say, but I'll defend it to the death. You're right to say it. That's freedom of speech. Now, this does not go to denigration of uh, character. It does not go to uh, certain blasphemic uh, actions toward an individual uh, just for the opportunity. Those things are not legal to be done. These will be adjudicated. So that's, you know, your freedom of, freedom of speech, the freedom of activity. Now, that depends on that individual. If they are a political prisoner for a reason, that's a bit different. In terms of a political prisoner, you have to bear in mind two things. Our country is supposed to be free, and someone who disagrees with that idea should stay home. Be that Timbuktu land, uh, uh, Arabic sands, it don't matter where. Uh, you want a free country? Go make your own according to the way you feel free. But do not come here to our country and say, this is this, that's that. You will abide by our rules. Okay, now, this does not mean that you're supposed to Detroit destroy tradition. There's nothing wrong with tradition. Each and every individual should learn their true traditions, and we can, everybody, celebrate that together. But don't uh, say that we uh, have to have uh, our flag taken down and yours put up because you are in a political situation and you outnumber us. That's not going to fly. These sorts of things, certain things that are uh, considered limitation. Now, that does not mean that you cannot fly a Mexican flag. What that means, is, as an example, and I'm not, using, I'm not picking Latinos out or anything like that, I'll recommend, so long as the stars and bars come up first, because you are on our soil, fly that Mexican flag underneath it. People should be proud of who and what they are. Then take that content of character and apply that golden rule, treat everybody as you'd have them treat you, and I don't see no problem with it. Next question. What about students in college? Well, you're liable to find that your um, education changes a bit um, because you've got a problem with two things. History and factuality has been changed to suit a... Uh, Specific political and um, I'll call it communist agenda, and those things are going to be righted. A lot of uh, books are not going to be the same, and the teachings are going to be changed. Uh, kids need to learn. I'll give you a good example. I read my dad's, my father's uh, eighth, let's see, eighth grade science book. He would have had a uh, an associate's degree in physics and electronics, and in the eighth grade. I want you to think about that. So they used to teach something at the time when they can learn the most, when they were small, when they were little, and then when you're done with the school, when you're out of school, it wasn't load them up with homework. It was go play, go be a kid, go. Exercise yourself. Learn about your imagination. And then those sciences and those things that you actually learn that are real, you might have a better idea. It could be something as far out as Facebook, the Internet. Who knows? Next question. All right. We have another show coming up in six minutes. I have to turn the stream over to uh, JP at time 58. I have two quick questions. First of all, does Ron Paul know about all this? Yes. And secondly, uh, what's going to happen with the IRS? Done. Gone. Closed. Out of business. All right. Now, if you have any other questions, the actor is going to give you a link to send a question to. But before you send that email, will you check...
to frequently ask questions and answered. 